Ahead this morning on DC News Now, DC police reporting the first homicide of the year in the district. We're breaking down what happened and what leaders say can be done to avoid another violent year. And new laws taking effect across the region today. We're breaking down what's changing and how it could impact you. Damon. Yeah, Tosin, we're tracking a little bit of light precipitation across the viewing area for this New Year's Day. We'll let you know when you might run into some soggy weather coming up in just a bit. And just like that, the new year is here. We're helping you prepare for today while making 2024 your best year yet. You're watching the station covering all of the DMV. This is DC News Now. All right, it is coming up on 701 on this New Year's Day, January 1st, 2024. Look at that cotton candy sky looking absolutely gorgeous this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tosin Fakile, filling in for Corey James and Tanaya this morning. Look who's here this morning with us. It's Whoa. Damon Matson joining us this morning. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the morning show on this Thank very you. first day of 2024. We're ringing it in the right way. You and I together uh, talking about what's going on. Exactly yeah. how it should be. <laughs> well, you know, ringing in the new year, the weather, how are we looking today? Yeah, we ended 2023 quiet, but it looks like today is going to be a little bit more unsettled to begin 2024. You saw the clouds in the sky out there looking back toward the Washington Monument. We did have some very light rainfall crossing through the DC Metro and the I-95 corridor around 4 a.m. this morning. Now, a lot of that precipitation has departed or come to an end, but folks, there is still a lot of cloud cover out there and there is still some precipitation looming on the horizon. So we'll be talking about when some of this soggy weather will be crossing through the area and who could see a few snowflakes out there today. It's coming up in just a bit. Hi, right, Damon. Looking forward to it. Thank you. 702 breaking overnight. DC police say one person was shot and killed on Military Road in Northwest at about 2 o'clock this morning, marking the first homicide of 2024 in the district. This is a live picture of the scene at 4300 Military Road this morning, where the Hilton Embassy is located. Hilton Embassy Suites is located. Police say the suspect fled the scene on foot wearing black clothing and a ski mask. Anyone with information on the suspect is asked to call 911. We'll provide you updates on this story as it comes into our newsroom. And D.C. police are searching for a man involved in a second overnight shooting. The shooting happened near the intersection of H Street and 13th Street in Northeast. At about 2.30 this morning, police have not released the condition of the victim at this time. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest on air and online at DCNewsNow.com. And police are investigating a shooting that left two teenagers injured yesterday. They responded to the scene at 37th Street in Southeast around 1 in the afternoon. Both victims were conscious and breathing at the scene. They're expected to be okay. And we have wrapped up 2023 and one analysis shows a drop in murders in most major cities last year, but that wasn't the case in the district. Here's a look at crime data at a glance in DC in 2023. In D.C., we had double-digit increases in homicides and other crimes. Every major crime is up in D.C., according to police data, except one. According to our news partners, The Hill, one data analysis says homicide is down almost 13% across the country this year compared to 2022. So what does that data look like in the district? According to MPD data, as of December 29, there was a 35% increase in homicides from 2022 to 2023. So let's show you some of those other numbers from that MPD database. Assault with a dangerous weapon went up by 1%. There were almost 1,400 incidents reported in 2023. Robbery up as well, about 68% in the district. Burglary also up, and car theft went up about 83% from 2022 to 2023. Last week, I spoke to one neighborhood commissioner who told me a short-term action to take to tackle crime is work being done on the level of prosecution, and what she said is things falling through the cracks at the district attorney's office. I saw a crime the other day, a, a, you know, an arrest that has been made, but the gentleman had, you know, five warrants out or had, you know, had, you know, five, uh, you know, charges against him that, that had not been pursued, uh, which allowed him to be on the street to commit another crime. We can't continue to let that happen. And rather than just acknowledging 
this some of our systems are failing us people become offended like well you know well you're just finger pointing it. We can talk about whose fault it was. We can talk about, you know, all of that later on. Right now, we all need to pull together, recognize what is happening and do what we can based on the data. Prosecutors have said they are limited by the laws and sentencing guidelines DC Council has put in place and the crime lab previously not being accredited did not help. Now, the only type of crime that saw a decrease, decrease in D.C. is theft from a car, and it only went down 1%. You can see the complete crime data from MPD on our website, dcnewsnow.com. Your time is 7.05, and a fire broke out at, on the ninth floor of the Arrive Apartment building in Silver Spring on Saturday. Officials say it started in an empty apartment that was under renovation from a previous fire. Montgomery County fire officials say the fire may have involved an HVAC wall unit. Back in February, another fire on the same floor of this building killed a 25-year-old woman and her two dogs. According to Montgomery County Fire and EMS, nobody was injured. Investigators still working to find out what caused that fire. And police have made an arrest after an off-duty Prince George's County police officer was carjacked last week. Police took 19-year-old Anthony Stewart into custody, charging him with carjacking, robbery, and theft. The officer and his family were inside the car when two people approached the vehicle and forced them out. That off-duty officer then fired his department-issued duty weapon at the suspects. Nobody was injured. Police say they're still looking for another suspect in that case. Well, as we celebrate the new year, many services around the DMV are operating on different schedule and we're breaking it down for you region by region. Let's kick things off in the district. There will be no parking enforcement today except for streetcar ticketing and towing. Emergency shelters will remain open. Trash and recycling will not be collected today. It'll slide one day for all pickups. The DC Health and Wellness Center will be closed today. Moving over to Virginia, Arlington will not be collecting trash or recycling on New Year's Day. Those services will slide one day as well. Metered parking will not be enforced. All community centers will be closed. The sheriff's office will be closed as well. Over in Maryland, Montgomery County offices are closed. Ride on bus service will operate on a Sunday schedule. For Mark Riders, the Penn Line will not operate today. Curbside waste pick pickup will change in Prince George's County. Organics waste. Organics waste will not be collected today. No changes to curbside collection for the rest of this week. Your time is 7.07 and a heads up for Virginia's this new year will bring changes to laws in the Commonwealth. And that includes changes to give more people in Virginia access to health care services. One new law will make it easier for licensed mental health counselors to practice across state lines. Virginia joining the counseling compact. This will allow counselors to practice in any of the other 28 states in that compact without having to get a new license. Another new law requires insurance companies to notify parents if a provider is removed from their network. Patients will also be allowed to continue receiving care for three months after a provider is removed. And Virginia officials also helping young people access hearing aids. Starting today, insurance companies will have to cover the cost of hearing aids for children younger than 19 if it's recommended by a doctor. One expert says hearing aids can lead to better language and social development for kids who need them. They also say parents sometimes put off getting those hearing aids because of the cost. We've seen some parents kind of wait because they're not able to afford something for their children. And they, they see their kids struggle through whether it's language development or if it's an older child through school because it does affect academics. According to Forbes, the average cost of a set of hearing aids is $4,000. Stay tuned for a breakdown of new laws coming to Maryland in our next half hour. Now, while the big party may have been in Times Square, one D.C. neighborhood bring in the New Year celebration to our backyard. Dave LaValle breaks down, yes, breaks down yesterday's celebration in Petworth. Let the celebration begin. Hundreds of people fill Sherman's circle to say out with the old and in with the new. Happy, Happy New Year! Folks have welcomed in the new year here for 10 years. The last six have featured an early start as the ball also drops at 7 p.m. It's awesome. I'm just so excited. Curtis Jackson and his husband, Chris Rowland, created this annual celebration. They added the extra ball drop for the entire family. I'm glad the weather held out and so everything else held out. It's awesome. 
Parents are glad they can share the holiday with their young children. Obviously, she won't be up at midnight, so this is her first time experiencing this. And she's aware that New Year's is here this year, being three. Back before I had kids, we would make the midnight one, but uh, 7 o'clock is the best we can do now. Why? Because <laughs> we go to bed at 8.30. <laughs> The moment everyone has waited for finally arrives. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs>